Hi everyone, Robot Man here. Today we're going to look at the hub and the heart mode. It's pretty cool the heart mode because you can use it to operate your robot without any coding. Let's see what it can do, eh? Okay, when you first turn on your hub using the power button, you'll notice the heart should come straight up. And you could actually use the arrow keys to scroll through any of your stored programs that you might have put on there already from your device when you've coded it. Or you can just scroll back to get to the heart mode. So the heart mode is pretty cool because you can plug in a single motor, for example. I've plugged this into port A and it will light up uh, after you press the power button to run the heart mode. And if you press the arrow keys, then it'll actually increase the speed of the motor in increments of about 20%. So if you keep pressing it, it gets faster and faster. And if you want to go slower, you can just press the opposite arrow key and it'll go slower and slower all the way until it stops. And then if you keep pressing it, it'll start spinning the opposite way, which is pretty cool. Press the power button to stop it. And let's try it with another motor. I'm going to plug two motors in together and they're going to work together as movement motors. So you run the code by pressing the, heart, uh, the power button and then you can press the arrow key to make the motors, both motors spin at the same speed. But let's just put some wheels on these motors so we can have a look at the direction that the motors are going at the moment. When you plug them in the opposite ports, you'll see that they actually turn in an opposite way. The left one is going anti-clockwise and the right one in this example is going clockwise. And it gets faster and faster and slower and slower. Now this is, this is ideal uh, if you want to make some sort of vehicle that goes straight ahead or straight backwards because even though the wheels are going opposite each other, if you construct the robot so that the motors are kind of facing opposite each other, then your car will go forwards or backwards in a straight line. If you put the motors plugged into the same side, for example in port A and C, you'll see that the motors actually spin in the same direction. And if it was on a car, the car would actually spin in circles. Sometimes you might want something to spin in circles, so you put the motors on the same side. But for the majority of time, if you're going to use two motors that work together, I'd say you put them opposite each other, like in ports A and B, or C and D. Here's a third motor. You can plug three motors into one side if you like and they'll all go in the same direction if they're all in the same side. Just by pressing the power button to run the heart mode and using the arrow keys to control the speed. But let's just have one motor because we're going to use some sensors now. We're going to plug in a force sensor. If you plug the force sensor in then you can control the speed of the motor by pressing down on the button. The harder you press, the faster it goes. So the more force there is, the faster the motor will spin. Let's try it with the distance sensor now. The distance sensor or ultrasonic sensor will behave in a way that your, when your hand is closer, it will go faster. The further away your hand is, the slower it goes. And the third sensor is the color sensor. And Lego's done something interesting here because they've made the motors react in a different way to each color. So I found out that red makes the motor spin quite fast and yellow makes it go a bit slower and green is a bit slower still. And then well, the dark blue goes very slow but the one in between the green and the dark blue is the light blue will make it go reasonably slow. And the pink and the black don't actually seem to do anything at all, which is quite cool. But the white brick makes it go as fast as it can, probably 100% speed. So you could make um, something that reacts to different colours, makes the motors go at different speeds. You could even try and plug in all the motors and all the sensors and get one motor controlled by the colour sensor, one motor controlled by the distance sensor, and one motor controlled by the um, force sensor. Or another thing you could do is just plug in six motors and have them all running at once. That's the cool thing about the Lego hub for Spike Prime is that every port can be input or output. So every port you can put motors or sensors into. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. It's kind of fun to experiment with the heart mode. What sort of things can you do? Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video and check out some of my other creations. Or look at my shorts to watch some of my highlights from my workshops.